Welcome to the complete course of Azure Machine Learning. The first entry point of creating any model in Azure is to create a workspace. So what is workspace? So workspace is like a folder wherein you have a different compute resources. For an example, if you choose that you need a four CPU core and a JB memory. So all these resources would be getting registered inside the workspace. The notebook, the notebook wherein you are the developer or the data scientist is writing a code to achieve a certain goal. Pipelines, these pipelines would be used to segregate the data into our different flows. For example, if you have a model before the model you have also cleaned the data you have used a certain logic for a data preparation and then you are training a module model then so we are creating a pipeline workflow wherein the first step is to clean the record and then the second step would be to train on the clean data right so this pipeline would be created inside the workspace the fourth is the data. So since the data is spread across the different storage system, right? So we have a data into a different data lake or a data warehouses. We have a data in a Cosmo DB. We have a data in a relational database. We have a data into NoSQL database or into a file format. So we'll bring all this storage and getting registered inside the workspace and then ingest all the required data and do the certain processing inside the workspace. So if you want to access the data which resides outside the Azure Machine Learning, you need to register this data storage or you can see the account storage inside the workspace. So once you get a data, you have to execute a certain experiments wherein your model will execute a certain experiment based on the different parameters and the, each experiment would be having a different run for example if you are analyzing it that whether the particular person is healthy or not healthy right it is a classification kind of a problem to achieve this goal we need to execute a multiple runs and each multiple runs would be called as a run id and this multiple runs would be encapsulated into the experiment so inside a one experiment id that we called as a to classify whether the person is healthy or not we have execute 15 runs right and outside and when we are comparing this 15 run we will be coming up with the best model and this model would be used to deploy it into a production. So this is how the workspace would be used for. So workspace is an encapsulation of all the resources required to build and deploy the model. Apart from this, there are a peripheral component outside the workspace, which is having a dependencies on the workspace. For example, the storage account. We have a Cosmo DB by default wherein we are storing all the metadata of our trained model data as well as wherein we are uh, executing a multiple experiments. So all the metadata by default would get stored into a Cosmo DB. And whenever you are creating any workspace, that by default the storage account will also get created. The application inside. The application inside would be used to monitor the model right the key vault the key vault is used to store the sensitive information like certain certification certain passwords and key vaults is used to store the uh, passwords and certificate into an encrypted format and it is a way of storing a password into most secured way Virtual machine. So virtual machine is being used to create an experiment on a particular problem statement. So if we are creating a virtual machine 
and that particular virtual machine would be having a certain capacity for example we have a certain amount of a gb ram and we have a certain amount of a cpu core so once we'll club these two it will create a virtual machine having a add-on which on which particular os you are creating a virtual machine whether you want a windows virtual machine or you want a linux based virtual machine right and the container registry so container registry when you are writing a code and this code would be encapsulated into a docker image and this docker image needs to be registered into a azure container registry which will help you to bring the code from outside and get the compatibility inside the azure machine learning so that's the reason the azure container registry would contain all the images used to store all the models right so this is a brief uh, explanation of a workspace why the workspace is used and what all the different component of the workspace is required in our next session we will be going a, a deep or we will be doing a deep drive on the workspace what how the different component would be linked to this workspace correct thank you